wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I have not actually answered or gone through, you know, from where I posted yesterday evening. It was probably about, I guess, about 9.30 at night, right before I get ready to go to bed. I often notice it's a really good time for me to post because, you know, if you take away three hours on the West Coast from where I'm located on the East Coast, it's only 6.30 at night or, you know, going on 7 o'clock. And that makes a perfect time for me, um, you know, trying to be getting out to the people. And all through the night, I'll continue to get leads all night long. And then the next morning, you know, I don't I don't jump up first thing and say, oh, man, I got to do this, you know, or something like that. I don't mind. You start building up, uh, you know, asking for info. Uh, the people who don't know how to use Facebook doing this right here. There is no bad at all comments. Okay, so even if someone was trying to call me out saying I'm a scam or whatever, you can use that to your benefit. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I personally do, the message I'm making, um, the little subtle things I do to change my message, and let's just go ahead and get started, y'all. Okay, first of all, here, see how many notifications I got. <clears throat> Here's a comment here that came in four minutes ago. So, you know, so it's showing you that I'm still getting the activity. Now, the cool part is, this is Carol's World. This is a really good Facebook group. It's got 215,000 people in it. And anytime it gets hit with, you know, comments, it's going to bring it back to the top of the post. <clears throat> so, initially, these people who are asking for comments are getting me leads on the right regular basis. Okay? So, it's 7.52 a.m. I didn't post since last night at 9 30 or something like that so i'm still getting leads coming in all through the night i really don't remember how many i had before but i'd say it's probably probably 10 leads since last night if you know and i didn't post twice yesterday so that's something else that that i usually do if i was going to say focus to facebook is i would usually post two times if i'm not making videos at all and that that's going to be my objective is to get out the people, and that's all I'm doing. Then, to be perfectly honest, I'd be probably posting three times, maybe, well, three good times, and then manage the heck out of it, to be perfectly honest, and make sure I manage it at the right times so it brings it back up to the top all the time, right? Now, this is not some tremendous night. I can already tell you that, um, you know, 10 leads ain't bad while I'm sleeping, I grant you that, but this is one two, three, here's four, uh, let's see, Frank actually put a like on that one, that's cool, five, um, this is me actually posting six, seven, eight, nine, okay, now what you're seeing is, if you notice, this one has me looking down at my little boy, this one has me kissing my little boy on top of his head, there are two different Facebook accounts, <clears throat> and for the longest time, I did not do anything except post in this account, and I left this one alone. But because I'm only doing, um, and this group here, only 11 Facebook groups total that I'm even posting to, you know, for this one right here, which is the account that I use that most people connect with me at, um, I've decided to start going through that as well. So I'm, I'm kind of taking pressure off of both Facebook accounts. And I'm getting out to 22, you know, groups because I got 11 here and 11 here, 11 or 12 on the other one, on this one here. So I'm getting 23 thumbs out to the groups. And then, you know, if I do that twice a day, that's that's really a pretty decent message and, you know, managing and getting out the people. And the best part is, y'all, I don't even consider this work. I consider this the time of the day when you want to sit down, relax. I take my phone. I use my phone only. I don't use my laptop to to post messages like this, you know, to the to the cold Facebook groups, um, and that works for me. You know, I, I actually lay up. I, I've got the ceiling fan going, and I'll watch YouTube or whatever I'm in the mood to watch. Um, I usually try to get something that doesn't grab my attention the entire time. Some things you can't watch. Fred Sanford for me, I can't watch Fred Sanford. I find out that I'm, I'm not, I can't focus at what I'm doing. Much as I love Fred Sanford, I don't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, I have to find something. Sometimes it might be the news or something, you know, so I can kind of tone it out and, but enjoy, you know, just having it going at the same time. And that, that's that's my way. That works for me. Or 
or have a movie on that I've seen so many times, like Back to the Future or Standing or something like that, you know. So, all right, somebody answered back to their own comment. Okay, so let me get back over here and show you what, what I'm going to do here. Um, first of all, this was 11 hours ago when I posted this. And if you want to know what this is, it says Listen Alert, Listen Alert. I use Listen Alert personally because I don't do it every time, but I've noticed it grabs attention. You know, the, one of the most common words that you can use is the word alert. Uh, it's going to grab attention. So if I put Listen Alert, Listen Alert, it really seems to grab a lot of attention. Um, so that's why I do it. It's just common sense, right? And I'm using big words. And then it says another $560 a day. I want to try to grab attention as quick as possible. Now, this day came in yesterday, right? Uh, the commissions keep coming in. If you want to know the answer to me getting free from a 26-year profession in 2015 and be coming home to my 10-year-old little boy and being uh, there for him every day, this is it. Uh, honestly, let's see. This is a rock-solid business. Everything you need is in this one link. I try to make everything that a person needs inside of a sales phone. And that's what my sales funnel basically is. I try to think about the training that's going to be in it. So I've got training that's in it. I've got uh, banners for people who want to have youth banners, and they're gorgeous banners. I've got two weekly hangouts that are updated by themselves, automatically updated. They've got Facebook underneath it so they can directly you know, communicate with someone or ask questions, things of that nature. Um, i got 19 landing pages. And I do a pretty good job explaining it. And then I've got a whole mountain full of uh, people showing proof of income. So personally, it's not missing a whole lot. And I've got my own Facebook group that they can connect with. And they know I'm available. So, and, and plus, to be perfectly honest, I try to get someone that they're going to relate to at the beginning. Show the plan. I use a lot of uh, editing, you know, uh, Magic from, you know, <laughs> software magic, I guess. Try to help get my point across. And then I end it back off with, you know, a very personal message from me talking about being free from a job. So is it perfect? There's never a perfect, you know, sales funnel. I grant you that. But I do try to put a lot of elements that I think that make a good, you know, sales funnel in together. And that's what I have. So, you know, so that's really what it all in one is to me. Try to give people everything they need in one location. And that, that's what I always try to do with my sales phone. Okay. So, and then there's my link right here. I want my link to be near the tops. A lot of times uh, in the phone, you won't see all this writing here and you'll see this. If the link isn't viewable, which isn't always viewable, but I try to get it close to the top. If the link isn't viewable, you'll get more and more people asking for information. What does that tell you? They don't actually read it. To be perfectly honest, what a lot of people fall victim of is like right here. There's one, two, three, four people. And then, of course, I always like my own content. And then not only that, if you noticed earlier, if I had managed a little better, uh, where I showed my, you know, me posting my other Facebook account because I've got them friended to each other because I send information back and forth a lot of times for images and stuff like that. What else I can do? is I can like this content here. So now I've got two likes, and they're both from Sean Powell. And that's fine. They go back and forth that way and things of that nature. So uh, I find it very beneficial um, having two Facebook accounts right by itself. Okay, now what am I thinking here? If no comments were here whatsoever, at all I had likes, right? All right, first of all, y'all, let's, let's click here. I want you to see these people. Look at how many people are not on my friends list. Right. What's the most valuable thing that you can have in Facebook is a list of people who are connected to you. And this way, they're only connected to me at this moment through Carol's World. Carol's World. Now, some of these people, there's a good chance they hit the link and they went through to see what I do. There's a good chance that maybe they didn't. But if they friend me, y'all, or I friend them. I have an automatic connection to these people, and every time I post, they'll get a notification that let you know that Sean posted in Carol's World. Okay, now, if I am a freaking bulldog every week, and I'm just killing, you know, getting out the people on Facebook, because that's the way I've chose to get out the people, these people are going to acknowledge that. And a lot of times people 
are watching you when you don't really think there's nothing going on. You could have a day where I barely get any leads at all, yet, bam, I get a four, five, six hundred dollar day because it finally enticed somebody who had been sitting back watching me for a month. Okay? So, you managing, this is arguably to me one of the biggest things you can do is add friend, add friend, add friend. And this one, I had already just clicked right before I decided to do the video and decided I wanted to do this. Now, think of this, y'all. Here's one, two, three, four people right here that, without this post, would not have liked my comment and more than likely now have going to be friends. And and, and I know they're like-minded people because they're in this group. You know what I'm saying? Now, what are these people looking for? Now, think about this. It's always the same answer. Someone that believes in what they do. That's really it, y'all. Someone that's accessible, and they believe in what they do. Well, I, I, I think anybody who does a business they believe in should have those elements. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing, y'all. Okay, now, if, if nobody put any comments, I didn't have any of these junk crap right here as well, then what I would personally do is I would pick, uh, let's see, Ron Day or Ron Dreher. Ron Dreher, I guess, is that Ron Dre. Probably Ron Dre. Uh, I picked Rondre, and I'd go right below it, and I said, uh, hey, and I tag Rondre Summers. I tag him in there. Rondre is an unusual name, probably the only one that's up there. And I said, I would say thanks for the like, uh, and, you know, it's much appreciated or something like that. Then right below it, I would just write some information about the business. So, y'all, just to let you know, this has been the best business I've ever been part of. 41,000 people in the Facebook group. Um, you know, in days like this, whatever just comes up, you know, just just write something good, sincere, and 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 then maybe put another picture. If you got another picture, if you've been doing this for a while, you're going to have several commission pictures and things of that nature, something that you can put down there below as well. Um, what that does, y'all, is every comment down below brings you back to the top. This is 214, 215,000 people inside of Carol's world. You got to think about it, y'all. How much is that worth every time it's getting seen coming back to the top? Now, me personally, what I've learned between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock um, Eastern time is usually about, about the slowest time. I'm not saying you can't get leads from it. I'm saying when I was hammering away, focusing that, I always noticed it was kind of a dead spot in between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock. Now, so if it's 3.30 in the evening and I have five people asking for information, I know a lot of y'all be jumping out of your skin to do this right from the get-go. I usually don't answer back right now. What I want is for this post to be as valuable as, as it can be at the correct time. So what does that mean? It means I'm going to control, for the most part, when I answer back so that it brings it back to the top. If there's barely anybody online at 3.30 in the evening time for me that's really looking then why do I want to waste this opportunity at this time? Go back to uh, 7 o'clock in the evening or whatever time you plan on start posting in the evening time. Because now I don't even have to post in Carol's world. I'm going to answer back this one. I'm going to answer back the other ones. I'm going to give a response to every one of these. Every one of these. And what's that going to do? It's going to glue me at the top of Carol's world. For how long? At the most, at the best time to be posting. You see what I'm saying? And the best part is, people have mobile devices. All they normally see is the number of likes you had and the number of comments. So, if you've got one, two, three, four, five comments right here, and I go back and I answer back every one of them, how many comments is it going to have? It's going to be 10 comments. How much more valuable am I to have three, four, five likes right here? Probably I might even like my own stuff and a little bit off my other account. That's going to be six likes and 10 comments. How, many more, how much more valuable is that than if I just posted this freshly into Carol's World? And the best part is Facebook doesn't acknowledge this as even a partial of, of spam. Not even close to that. 
All I'm doing is interacting with the people who have already interacted on that post. So some of y'all who are thinking you have to spam the world, you don't. You don't have to spam the world. I don't even have to repost the same post in, this, in that evening if I don't want to. I've got something now that's more valuable. I could just run off of that, right? So let me go real time here. I'm going to show you an example here. Make sure I move out of the viewpoint or something here. Okay, so I'm at hey, uh, Ron Gray, and Summers. Appreciate the messaging. Okay, now watch. I, I've always had posts down here for everything because I try to stay somewhat organized, right? And why do I have to keep answering the same things over and over and over? Because they're always going to be the same thing, asking for information or something like that. So what do I do is I go down here. This is for a like. Like, great answer. And I put this right here. Uh, let's see. Great. Thanks for the like. Here's a great answer. Okay. Uh, here's one that says, uh, thanks for messaging. I appreciate you. Okay. This would be a perfect one right here. All thing I'm looking for, y'all, is to make sure that this isn't a really old one. And the link may not be the one I'm using at the moment, which I might have made a new landing page or something like, or sales pages, or, or something like you know. So I usually do make sure I do that. Uh, I'm just gonna copy the whole thing. I'll give you an example. Okay. Now, sometimes when I write a brand new one, and if it's a good one and it's different, it's not what I just did. I would copy that over, save it, and then I have it in my WordPad. I I live off of WordPad. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all that. All right, let me see here. So what part I need? Um, I appreciate your message, man. Okay. So I'm going to take this part out. I'm going to probably leave the, the likey, uh, smiley face. A lot of times when it comes to guys, I won't leave it. Uh, the women I usually do. Maybe, I don't know, it just, just feels more comfortable. For guys, leaving smiley faces to me makes me kind of question. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a little odd. Okay, so anyhow, this has got everything in. I want to put into it. That's going to be fun. I look up here and see which image it was. It was this one right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look for me a, a new picture. Let's go to pictures. And I'm going to put PLS. There we go. And uh, let's see. This is an older picture. I didn't actually have that one yet. This is August the 10th. That's getting a little, little bit of age on it. This one doesn't have... Um, any dates up there, that'd be a good one. And this one would be a good one. Got a little bit of personality, right? Now, again, when I give answers, I want to have great answers. Often, now, Rondre may or may not go through at this moment, but the other people, when this goes back to the top, are going to see this post. They're going to see me answer it back. One of the most respectful things I can do is when I don't have anything else here and I tag somebody saying thanks for the like and then write something really good information explain the business. What I'll do is I'll say, hey Jim, thanks for the like. I, I appreciate it. Or it's appreciated. I go right down below it and I put like everyone take the time. So it's not addressed to him. I just use that so that I have content to work with. And a lot of times it will get them. I cannot tell you the number of times I've had a like that I put a comment on and they wind up going to be members just because it's so different. I stand out. Nobody likes anybody, you know, or puts a comment for a like and tell them they appreciate it. So I do believe it's a way that you can, you know, kind of refresh your post again. And a lot of times that like alone is enough to bring you back to the top and it's going to bring in, you know, start getting these lead numbers coming in. Let me see here. So I'm at 59 right now. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see another lead or, you know, to come through just from these alone. Okay, so let me go ahead and click this. All right, so y'all can see what this image looks like. Um, I would use this particular, y'all, if I personally was starting fresh and I haven't done anything for a while. Um, what I personally do is I'm looking for posts that have dates on it, right? Now, if I take this right here, this is this is hot to me. I love the credibility that it shows the timestamps and the dates right here below it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm looking for that credibility. That That is undeniable 
credibility right there. That this was a $560 a day in this time frame. Okay. But let's say I haven't been posting for whatever reason, or maybe I focused on another business and, and I came back and just want to start putting uh, you know fuel back on the fire for this one. What would I do, y'all? I would leave this. This is perfect. Except I wouldn't show the dates. Okay. So in 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 reference to that. This one does a lot of things right because I don't have the dates right here. I show where I work my tail off. I've got a lot of $400 commissions. I've got some since then. I've got two more that I know of since this image. And this was showing, um, I think, in a few, probably five months or something. I can't remember. But it's just, just showing the $400 commissions. This works and it's timeless. Okay. So what would I consider this? I would use this to to make momentum. Now, I consider this, you gotta apply action to get sales. Then, do sales make momentum by posting your timeline, by posting it here, by doing whatever. You gotta bust your ass somewhere in your business, y'all, for you to get those sales taking place. Once you got those sales to make momentum, then you take momentum to make more momentum. And that's all it is. It's not even hard, y'all. You know, and, and I've said this before in other videos, but if you are taking uh, breaks after you made a $500 a day, then it's your own stupidity. See what I'm saying? Uh, if you're taking, I was doing another business where I made $9,000 in a day. Can you imagine if I would have said, you know what? I'm good for the month. You see what I'm saying? But because I didn't stop and I kept getting out there, that $9,000 a week um, day wound up being a $20,000 week. That month wound up being a $40,000 month because I stayed on it. I kept the pedal down to the floor and showing those live times when these are coming in, those days, those timestamps are valuable. I don't care if you've only got one gold member and that's all you got. Use that to produce momentum. Now, how, how can you do that, y'all? That means get yourself a reason to get out and get seen and show people. Number one, I would do. I would look them up. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example. I'll, I'll have to go to my timeline. I tell you what, I'll double this open. Uh, let's see, open the link in the new tab. Uh, new tab. Yeah. So I'll double this. So I won't lose my spot. Okay. I want you to see what my timeline's like, right? Okay. What's the ultimate game plan in support business Facebook group? Uplift, proof, progress, and if you apply action and know the answers, help show others the way, right? Got a couple of you know likes right here. I got seen a little bit. I congratulated Steve uh, Stephen Rodriguez uh, for coming in yesterday and already got his first member underneath him. That's absolutely incredible, right? So I'm going to congratulate people. I'm not only just going to do it here. I'm doing it in Action Taker Success Group, and I'm doing it in the official Power Lead Systems Facebook group. Now, what am I doing? I'm congratulating people. People get to see me. They get to see him. They get to see what it's like to be on our team. Um, I, I want them to know that they need to be trying to duplicate in the same thing. That's the kind of credibility. That's the kind of Facebook group you want. I would love to see every person congratulate their people for accomplishing something. I would love to see that. You should congratulate people just for coming in, to be perfectly honest. You should welcome it and tell them uh, congratulations for going gold. Uh, you know, things of that nature, because you're going to grab attention. They're going to grab attention. 41,000 people, y'all. We're not about stealing each other's leads. It's not even close to that. or members. It's about us working together, showing proof progress, and uplifting each other. Now, if you have a member that comes in, and here I am, I'm showing, three, this was yesterday, three gold members, a diamond, and a platinum I got yesterday, right? I got that in a, in a pretty early part of the day. So I go there and I post in the official Power Lead Systems Facebook group, my Action Taker Success group, and into uh, you know my timeline. So I'm getting seen by more people, and I'm always in the back of their mind. Some of these people may not even be in Power Lead Systems. Some of these people may be in Power Lead Systems but haven't done it in a while. Some of these people were in it and then stepped away, and now they're saying, you know what, maybe I should have stayed with it. You know, it's, it's nothing but a win. When you're putting content out that is uplifting, you know, it's like I say, proof in progress. 
If you do that on a regular basis, people are going to acknowledge you as the kind of sponsor that you need to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not hard. If 5%, if just 5% out of 41,000 people grasp what I just said, what I'm doing, what we're doing, it would be the most incredible Facebook group you've ever seen in your life. And it's somewhere that you would love to send your people. And y'all, I can tell you, a good deal of y'all, or a good deal of us, in period, you know, in, in general, you you can do a lot to impress people. You can do a lot to, you know, to brand yourself, and, and they're gonna notice that. But that Facebook group, y'all, I can tell you, I when I first started online business, the Facebook group did more for me than any sponsor I had. And <clears throat> that's what a powerful Facebook group can do. Now, if I'm writing, uh, I might do this right here. It's universal. Um, Yellow Brick Road. <clears throat> I'm not even doing Yellow Brick Road, but I've got I've got PLS members who are there. This is uplifting. I'm not trying to steal people. I'm not trying to do anything. I just I would go there and post showing people what a you know what a Powerly Systems day, and that's Frank. See. The reason I like Frank's comments, the reason Frank likes my comments, you know, I don't even have to be in the same business as Frank. And he's going to come here and put likes down here. It's a respect for each other, y'all. Now, there's a guy named Phil, uh, Phil Snipes. And I can tell you this, y'all. Look, somebody just... Um, I can tell you this. He's probably one of the best ones for going through and putting likes on other people's stuff. He would just constantly go down. He makes it part of his routine daily. I never really did it to the degree Phil Snipes did because, to be perfectly honest, I was a little scared you could like too much and <laughs> get in Facebook jail or at least, you know, lock you off from being able to put likes or, you know, things of that nature. I sure wouldn't put it past him. I mean, if, if I just spent a day just going down. But it is amazing to me how over the years, Every time Phil Snipes sees my comment, he'll go ahead and do that. What's the best thing I can do is, is show him respect and do it back. You see what I'm saying? You get by giving, even in the smallest things like that, y'all. And because I know I'm not the only one that feels that way about Phil Snipes and has appreciated him, he gets a bunch of likes. And y'all, that alone for any, you know, any post can mean, can mean the perfectly honest. Uh, let me see here. Okay, here's a good example. Uh, this is Rob came in. He's one of the gold members that came in yesterday. Uh, so I'm congratulating and welcome him. I usually take a picture right here because it shows a screenshot. Uh, it shows credibility to that. I just need to make sure that his information isn't showing. And that's it, y'all. Um, see, I appreciate him doing that. Ned at Cole. You know who that is, to be perfectly honest. But that's cool. And, and let's say if I get three gold members... And I'm posting inside the official Powerly Systems group. Some of the people are like, wow, this guy's just killing it. <laughs> you know, things of that nature. Um, it, it's really a good way of building a credibility for you. Um, and, and when they see you and you congratulate them and you're commenting and you're putting likes on their comments and they feel like you're a real go-getter, it makes them feel better. It really does, y'all. And I know because I've been on both sides. Everybody has it sometime or another. If anybody's ever made it. You know, there was a point when they hadn't yet. So that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Got a guy that's going through, you know, putting all the likes on my comments and stuff. That's really good. I appreciate it. Okay, y'all. So let's get back to where we're going here. I'm going to click this off. All right. Uh, all right. So we did this. I always put a like on my own contents. Let's see. I think I had 59 earlier, so we're still good on that. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to like this comment. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put... Learn to use Facebook correctly. Okay. And probably need to learn how to spell correctly in the process. Okay. This is not being disrespectful. I'm just letting him know he's not doing it right. Will it stop him from doing it? Absolutely not. But what am I really doing? Kind of tell him I appreciate it because nobody hits this stuff. Nobody likes this on their posts and they, they look at this as being the absolute incorrect way of doing Facebook. So, all I do now is I put learn to use Facebook correctly, and I'll put it right here. What did this do? It brought me back up to Carol's world right from the get go, right? 
a lot of times I won't even answer these quickly just so it brings me back up to the top constantly. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I'm going to like my own comment. You'd be surprised at how often other people, I've seen where this would get the most likes out my post. You know, because they totally agree with what I'm saying. Um, okay, so we got Kari, or Carrie. All right, so I'm going to go, I'm going to put a like here. I have not friended Carrie. Okay, so friend request has been sent. I'm going to reply. I'll come down here. That was a great answer, but I don't probably go use the same one twice. I might, I might be going the wrong way here. Uh, like, great answer. Uh, late response on Facebook. Welcome to PLS in the group. Went the wrong way. I might wind up putting the same one. Take no biggie. A lot of times I can use uh, hey thanks for the like instead of putting like. Okay, let's use this. I'll give you an example of this. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna come paste it right here. And I'm gonna put hey uh, carry. A lot of times it'd be the same one right there underneath it. This works better on the laptop than my phone does. The laptop has a tendency to um, get a lot of these tags where my phone would more likely be less. If there was going to be one that wouldn't have it, my phone won't always bring that up for some reason. So it might be because I've got an older phone. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, thanks for messaging. But like always, it's appreciated. That's a little bit different from messaging. Okay. Uh, everything. All right. And that's going to be it. Everything you need is right here in one link. And I had the link down here. Let's go down here to an image. So I've added a new friend. So how many friends have I added lately? What, four or five that are going to see me be a freaking bulldog in this Facebook group? They're going to see my proof and progress constantly growing so they're going to get the right kind of content right from the get-go um this looks a lot like the other one let's go to pls up here again let's type in pls and see what i got okay all these times 100 this shows a bunch of these are uh 400 100 and then all these are 20 a month lease right here we'll do that one and again, it's timeless. There's not a real date up there. Uh, I think any of them would do fine, to be perfectly honest. All right, so here I go. Now we're moving right along, right? Now, obviously, y'all, I would not take this long trying to show and explain some stuff here, and I'll show you what this looks like. All right, see, see all the goals right here, and then I, ex I explained right here. Here's a hundred dollar commissions and four hundred dollar commissions. You don't need something like this necessarily, y'all. And to be perfectly honest. What people really want is someone that's going to be excited about their business. So if you use some way to grasp attention right from the uh, get-go, and then you just start telling people about, you know, uh, and instead of me saying I got free from a job, letting them know, y'all, I, I worked a 26-year profession. Um, you know, I'm, I was away from home from 40 hours, you know, every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's a half a week. I didn't even get to see my little boy. He didn't get to stay with me at my house. And with this business, y'all, I already feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel. That kind of mentality works just as good. They're looking someone that believes in their business. Show them something different. Do not be that boring-ass commercial. Don't be the boring commercial. If you learn to write content that grabs attention, that means something, you are in a whole different ball game than these other clowns that's on Facebook. And some of y'all who have seen in the Pirelli System Facebook group people saying, Facebook doesn't work and stuff like, that's the dumbest thing anybody could ever say. Period. Well, I agree with them that a lot of Facebook is looking free or cheap. I'm not going to Facebook to try to make a $1,000 commission. Period. Because I know that as soon as they see that, they stand at the front door, they're going to have their feet at the, at the door uh, steps walking in, they see the price, and then they're not going to go any farther. And, and that's marketing to the wrong crowd of people. It's, it's the wrong, incorrect kind of marketing. 
If I had a thousand dollar business, I would be nailing, I mean nailing YouTube like you ain't ever seen. That's that's different. These people half the time already know what it is and how much it costs. They have not joined yet because they're looking more information. And to be perfectly honest, if they see you and they know that you believe in your business, you've got a brand new sale. That's the difference between a thousand dollar business at YouTube and learning to use Facebook for the lower businesses. Now you got a choice. If you want to bring Facebook into it, you can't go to where the lowest level is $1,000. That's not going to work. But you can put a front-end business with that business. See what I'm saying? So if I've got a front-end business that's free to come into, they can spend whatever they like, and I've got an awesome Facebook group that these people are going to get in, I say 80% of the time they're going to sign up to the free business. You're going to welcome them into the Facebook group, and then you're going to show these people what $1,000 days look like. $600 days look like. Right on up. You understand what I'm saying? Then they feel connected. They've got a connection to you. they got a connection to the people in the Facebook group. And just let it do its thing. And reach out to them every once in a while. See if they need anything. And even someone looking free and cheap. If they see the value in something, they will get there. Don't think they won't. And they will. So a lot of times people are asking me, you know, because supposedly... Facebook's not going to give you anything. Well, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I have pretty good weeks, and 80% of it is coming from uh, Facebook because that's where my lead numbers are at. My lead numbers are with Facebook, but the, the most valuable people I have, valuable ratio of leads is with YouTube because these people have already connected with me. If they watch two or three of your videos, they know what I'm about, and they're going to go, you know, that's it. So there's a variation between the both. Okay, so just want to let you know how that works. But to say that any platform's got a billion people in it and it doesn't work is just stupid. Uh, you may have to, you know, to be perfectly honest, they've put attempts of something out there, probably bad commercials, or even got leads, but they didn't know how to work it exactly. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. I understand that, but maybe the procedure that you send them through is not exactly right. Uh, you know, so it's just there's other variables that come into play. So, what am I going to do right here? Learn to use Facebook. I put an answer right here. I put a love for that one. And once again, oops, I can actually type better at this. This way. All right. Now, something about when I'm doing uh, uh, videos, I always screw up my typing. So anyhow, all right, y'all, and my reading too. I've got my uh, so it can videotape me correctly, uh, where I'm just not hearing anything. My my laptop is really a little more forward than usual. So when I'm trying to read, a lot of times it kind of throws me off too. So don't think I can't read. That's just I'm always reading it at a funky angle. That's what's happening here. All right, y'all. Uh, so that gives you a good example of what one of them is. How many people that I friend? Uh, five people, I think, right here, and just off of this one post. Um, is bring me back up to the top. I wouldn't perfect if, if this was seven o'clock at night and I did this. There's no doubt in my mind I would be bringing in some more leads. But I have made it more, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, much more valuable. So it gives me an opportunity later on. More than likely, somebody else is going to like. I might even wait till later in the evening, uh, just just so I could do it again. But y'all, you know, this is what managing is really about. Um, you know, to be perfectly honest, me laying on a couch. I can do so much for my business while I'm just sitting here watching YouTube and 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 doing the exact same things right here. I I'm trying to make my laptop a little bit more uh, friendly and to some degree so that um, you know so you can see what I'm doing. So it's, I'm, I did this for you. I don't use my laptop for any of this. I use my phone, um, but my phone's so much older. I don't think it would do a real good job me trying to do video off of that. And I, I wish I could. But basically, I'm showing exactly what I'm doing here. So I hope that you know, gets you some idea of what, what I'm doing. So I just want to give you an example of what real time would be like for me. Um, again, what do you want when it comes into the world of uh, Facebook? It's going to be uh, show proof, progress, and uplift. And if you know the answers from applying action, then, then answer people to try to help them out. And who am I helping y'all? Somebody brand new. Of course, I have no problem picking them up, putting them on the right track. 
But if they're not my downline and they're brand new, I'm not going to tell them what I personally do because their sponsor is probably doing paid advertising and has got something entirely different for them. See what I'm saying? So it would be wrong for me to come in here and start reaching, you know, saying, hey, y'all, look, I got the answers, blah, blah, blah. When their sponsor has got maybe another business, a sales funnel's got two or three different things in it. You got to respect each other, each other sponsors as too, uh, as well. A lot of times you can see people who didn't succeed in power lead systems. They look me up on YouTube, they find me there, and then they say, okay, well, I'm going to contact him. Um, you know, even when they do, I still try to tiptoe and be real careful because I don't want some angry sponsor, you know, because I was teaching some different way or something like that. So, you know, people come in my business with me. I try to say this very clearly. I have nothing against, nothing whatsoever against um, with, with paid advertising, uh, solo ads and things of that nature. I just like to, to try to get people in the right mindset, which is going to be, where do they see me at? Where 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 do these people get to meet me? Because if people join people and, and all you're doing is throwing money at something and you're not even in the sales funnel and all you're going to do is have an email that half the time you don't even have a real email, what have you got? It, it's, it's a huge percentage of, of flushed out people that never had a chance to see the biggest cheerleader in the business, you for your own business. So that's kind of mentality and things I, I try to teach. So, but anyhow, y'all, I'm going to end this. Um, if you have not signed up for Power Lead Systems yet, y'all, I can already tell you, uh, I've got some pretty awesome, um, it's pretty awesome landing pages and my sales phone does a heck of a job. Um, I treat it like it's my own. What does that mean? When I make my own landing page sales pages, I would alter things all the time and I would throw a hundred leads at and see what happens. I look at the ratio and I see, is this getting better and better and better? If not, okay, well, maybe I need to back step, go back here, go back to what I had before. But I'm always trying things to see if it makes it better, worse, or whatever. And this has become a mutant of different things I've tried. Um, you know, I really had some really nice little simple pretty page, but pretty often does not do the job. Uh, I've seen a lot of times where the more information I put down, you know, things like this, makes a big difference. Um, you know, where I'm not just showing just big people making income. I show a lot of people making their first, you know, sale and thing of that nature. And I want them to relate to all sorts of people. So I feel like having that there helps a lot. I do push diamond and platinum, y'all, because that's the difference between a $60 day and a $600 day, to be perfectly honest. So, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's vital. Not only that, y'all, people who go diamond and platinum, you're going to influence people to go diamond and platinum. You're going to make more money right from the get-go, okay? So never do a business halfway. Um, on top of that, y'all, people who do go diamond and platinum are invested in the business. What does that mean? You're going to see they're going to be around a whole lot longer. So not only do you get paid more for them going diamond and platinum, you get paid more because they're invested and they're not going anywhere. And between the both, that's just more money, y'all. That's just, that's just smart business. So if you sit there not qualified and keep your mouth shut and say to yourself, oh, I'm not losing, I'm not getting any emails, I haven't lost anything, ha, ha, ha. Well, to be perfectly honest, you haven't influenced anybody either. And as long as I have me and other leaders posting in the Facebook group, we are going to inspire people to go diamond and platinum. You know, I do stuff like this. All the time, y'all. I'm gonna I'm go and tell you a lot more than y'all even y'all even know if you don't if you're if you're not in the group. I post things like that all the time. The last thing in the world you'd want is for me to be hammering away telling people need to go diamond and platinum, and then I'm getting sales coming in on a right regular basis, and you didn't even um, you know you, you didn't get qualified for it, and you're gonna see money going past you. I made how much money? Five hundred and fifty dollars in two days last week. That shouldn't have been my money. It should have went to somebody else. 550 yeah. So, yes, you do want to get qualified. That was just one scenario. So, you know. All right, y'all. Go ahead and sign up. Hit this right here, here, Power Lead Systems. As soon as you hit Power Lead Systems, come on back down here. Get your sales page right here, y'all. Once you're done, you go have this sales page right here. It explains the business for you. Wednesday and Thursdays, Hangouts are right here. Uh, I've got Getting Started. Go Diamond, Go Platinum as soon as possible, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. Just like Steven Rodriguez uh, 
first day in, he already has somebody to go, what if that person he put in the Facebook group and, and Stephen wasn't dominant? I'm not putting, I'm not picking on him or anything. I know he's going to go down here. He told me that. But what if they would have gone ahead? He would have already lost $100 right then, y'all. That's a terrible feeling. Um, what if they go on platinum and he would have lost $400? That's one of the worst emails I've ever got in my life. You do not want these things. Get all in in your business and get qualified because if you don't, you're just waiting to lose money. You're going to be giving your money away to someone who's qualified like me, and I don't want to see that happening. I want you to make your money, okay? So go ahead and sign up, y'all. Uh, Fran me on Facebook, and I will, I'll look forward to seeing you in the Facebook group, and uh, I'll be right there. Appreciate y'all.